Hello YouTube. I just found out that my video instructions about my trigger plugin were absolutely out of date. Um, I think that was the case because I, I did a video about this newer version but then my computer froze and I lost tons and tons of hours of work. Uh, it wasn't that much but yeah I mean I was pretty frustrated so I decided not to do one straight afterwards and then I must have forgotten so now at this very nice uh, time of the day I'll just do a quick quick update to inform you about how to use this since uh, what you can see in the other YouTube video has nothing to do with this with this plugin anymore um, well I guess to a certain degree it's the same same idea behind it but just from the looks of it it's a lot different as well so what trigger allows us to do is uh, we have this we have this sample here and I really like really like the kick drum pattern let's say for example um, so what we can do is use this envelope follower which is found under audio effects uh, max audio effects I envelope follower and put that on the sample. As you can see, it's registering all the transients, but there's a lot of claps and hi-hats and stuff in there that I don't really want, so what I can do is just isolate the kick drum. Much cleaner result already, you can see. We really just want the initial attacks. And then, we can hit this little map button here. Once it's flashing, we can go into our trigger trigger MIDI uh, MIDI track and click this little button here, which says "Click to Map." Now you can see it flashing. Hold up, let me zoom in a bit. If I'm not mistaken, I'm zoomed out quite a lot. Um, so now it's flashing in the rhythm to to the kick drum, which is pretty cool. Now you might ask yourself, okay, great. Uh, why is this doing? Uh, what sense does that have? Um, if I put a kick drum or a kick kick a kit, I'm sorry. If I put a kit at the end of this, then you will notice. playing in, in time with that kick drum. So very simply, that's exactly what the trigger is there to do. It's taking a signal and then replacing it with another sound. Now the cool thing about this is as well that you can audition sounds really easily. Rather than just clicking each by itself. And while this is playing, you know, I can replace that with any sound in this. Get some hands. I can just hit the random button. Or select an exact one. Or just click one of these. <laughs> Another feature with which I built in is uh, are these randomization buttons. So sixteenth note randomization for the velocity, for example. This is at the pretty low end of the velocity uh, dial. So if we move this dial up, we'll start affecting the top end of it. automation can be can be recorded and stored so if we just arm this hit the record button you can see the velocity uh, the velocity doing its thing being randomized and that's then stored and we can manipulate it to our liking if we um, if we want to let's just get rid of this 
if we want to uh, record the audio we can do this by getting a new audio track selecting trigger from the input and then just muting it arming it for record and hitting the record button Take a listen, and there we go, with the velocity and everything. Sweet. Um, so then this plays in time, I mean you can add a different instrument, a uh, different sound, cowbells are always nice. a groove and I mean you can always manipulate it further you can you can uh, move this around okay that didn't change too much but uh, there you go you can stretch it you can delay it you can apply effects but uh, this is really just to to basically extract a groove from a certain certain sample that you have that you might fancy and can't really play by yourself uh, other things you can do with this is, of course, always add extra MIDI effects. So, uh, let's say you wanna you wanna affect a different range of of this here. So maybe the top. So just boost that like crazy, and then you went too far. You know, you start affecting the this top area instead of instead of what I have predefined for you here. This just relates perfectly to to the general Ableton kick. So that's why. That was the thought process behind it. Um, you can have the same randomization for the duration as well, but duration really only affects uh, only affects sound. So if we um, if we add some piano behind this, let's see whatever this is. of samples either but uh, just believe me that duration does uh, <laughs> does play a role when there is a duration to be to be affected um, that can also be randomized via these buttons you can add them however you like you can just have one on it doesn't really matter and it gives you some really unique and, and cool sounds I think um, another thing you can do if you have the kit here quick oversight of what this what this device can do and yeah it's found under max for live midi effects trigger yep that was it have a nice day